Our reporter Nick Todorovic spoke with Superintendent Robert Webb today to see if this ballot measure will impact the Kirksville School District. The Kirksville R3 School District doesn't have the full details on how the legalization of recreational cannabis will affect their day-by-day -day operation, but they have an experienced leader in charge of this societal change. Superintendent Robert Webb was working in the Colorado School District when they became the first state to legalize recreation. He is worried about students having easier access to marijuana. The social consequences are, for one, to me, the most concerning still because not that kids are going to use more than they were before or not used more than they were before, but because the availability makes it easier for them to access it. And when that happens, it is easier and it more, becomes more prevalent in schools. So we will step up our efforts to try to make sure that underage use is not happening. One thing that Webb knows for sure, school bus drivers will still be tested on a random basis. Webb tells KTVO that school bus drivers are eligible for random drug screenings due to federal laws. He isn't sure how this will affect his hiring process for teachers, but he won't let anyone visibly high stay in the classroom. But it also makes sense that staff who are responsible for the safety of children, if they come inebriated, intoxicated, high, under the influence of any substance, we have a right and we will exercise that right to say you need to go home for the day. And if it becomes a continuous problem, problem, then you exercise the whole uh, graduated discipline. Webb acknowledged that there may be children who need access to medical marijuana. He wants those parents on the same page as the school district. Their parents, in my case, must be present. They must come. They must um, administer that drug, that now legal drug, because they've been prescribed by a doctor, to the student, and then it leaves campus. Webb tells KTBO that his goal is to keep the classroom drug-free and maintain a safe learning environment for students, teachers, and staff. Reporting from Kirksville, Nick Todorovich, KTVO. It is not exactly known as to when the state will release all of the details when it comes to Constitutional Amendment Number 3, but we will continue to update you as we learn more.